Hey everyone, it's Brad here with Neewin, and today we're going to take a look at one clip. Alright, so what one clip is, it's a universal clipboard app for all of your devices. Um, spotted in the repositories were files for, let's see, we have Windows 10, iOS, Android, and I believe Windows Phone. And what the app does is allows you to copy content from any platform to another device that's running the app. Essentially, it's a universal clipboard for all of your content. Um, and it actually works very, very well, and it's really cool. And as of right now, we know it, it, it is free. Um, there was no indications that Microsoft is going to charge for this. But it's a pretty cool little productivity app. And so what you can see here is this is the iOS version. And these are some things that I copied earlier. Um, just a quick tour here. It's a pretty basic app. has content sorted by web pages, images, phone numbers, text, addresses. Um, some of the features are not working all that well right now, but the copy feature has been working um, actually pretty conveniently. So let's just launch here the... This is um, just Notepad in Windows 10. And we'll just type a little note here. We'll do, let's just see... N-E-O-W-I-N new one. There we go. And we will highlight that. Right mouse click, hit copy. You see that it's shown up there. And look, there it is. It's right here. And that's pretty much how this works. It allows you to do images as you can see here. I earlier copied the one clip image that I tweeted out. And all the notes just kind of come across. Now it does use the cloud, so if you're really concerned about what you're copying and all that good stuff, um, this may not be the app for you. And hopefully Microsoft will in, um, build in some finer grain security controls and all that good stuff. But really, it's a it's a neat little app, and it's it works as you can see very very well. Um, in the desktop app here, which there's a gallery at the bottom of the post, you can see a link that takes you back to the original announcement that has this where we uncovered the stuff. And again, it allows you to sort all your content and allows you to remove, let's see, I haven't tried actually removing anything. Let's just try removing one. See if it, um, we took out test four. Now these will automatically repopulate themselves. But yeah, see, look, there we go. And it got removed. So that is one clip in a nutshell. It's a cool little app. No word on when Microsoft is going to release it, but it is relatively well polished for now, despite some few bugs, but uh, we can't see why Microsoft can't release it under the preview tag once they get things all cleared up. And um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. We'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching.